Hi there, this is Dawn Priola, and I'm here to do the Love Tarot reading for Capricorn. So, doing the Earth signs now. Um, Capricorn, I gotta say, before I even get started, um, the cards are a little confusing to me, even. And um, there's some reversals, like all of your angel cards came up in the reverse. And I'm gonna read them as such. And of course, this is a general reading. It is a love reading. Um, so I'm assuming that that's going to be the main focus here that's going to come out in the cards. But if you need a private reading, I'll put some links below so that you can get um, a one on one reading with me. Also, I do have in uh, this month just until the end of June. So you've only got like seven days left. So if you've got, if you need a medical intuitive reading, that's the special till the end of this month. It's never going to be priced this low again. I can tell you that right now. Um, so I'm giving medical intuitive reading, 40 minute medical intuitive reading, along with my grace healing, which is a remote healing energies that are sent to you remotely. And they they can really work miracles. Check out my website and um, look under the, the tab for Grace Healing and you will actually see some examples of things that people have had healed through this distance healing. It really is miraculous. So check that out. Now, on with the reading. First card up was Romance in Reverse. So some of you uh, the romance department is not going so well right now. Things are kind of turned upside down. So, right next to that was aprobación en, en sí mismo. And this means, you know, self approval. And the fact that it came again in reverse, al revés, to me, this is meaning that, you know, there is kind of a lack of self-esteem, self-approval that is connected perhaps with this, um, you know, the romance being off, okay? Then the next card up was intention, again in the reverse. Do you set goals for your relationship just like you would set goals for your money? You know, we, we t well, I hope you set goals in your money. <laughs> Um, but, you know, if you have a business, you have to set goals for how much money you, you intend to make, um, what you want your earnings to be, and even in personal finance, you, you need to have goals for how much savings you want to have, how much money you need to have put away in order to feel secure. Um, and, and likewise, in relationships, it's good to have goals or intentions, you know. Do you know what you want? Do you know what you want your relationship to look like? Because that's what you then need to focus on. So you need to get clear. And again, harmonia, again, came up in the reverse. It's a beautiful card, but again, it came up in the reverse. So, you know, this is since this is a love reading, I am taking it that for you, Capricorn, or for at least some of you Capricorns, uh, things are kind of upside down right now as far as uh, the romance and um, harmony in the relationship. So let's see uh, some more about that in the tarot cards. So three of vessels. Now, right away what came up for me, and obviously this does not apply to all of you. A lot of partying going on there, right? Sometimes this would suggest that there might be a third party situation, that there might be some strain in the relationship. Now, for some of you, this may just be a flirtation. It may not, um, you know, be an actual affair. So I just want to caution you there. Um, but there is the possibility of that. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, unfortunately, came up in the reverse. So I want to say that maybe for some of you, you're not feeling quite as, um, as good financially as you did at one time. Not feeling quite as secure 
again, there's those, you know, intentions and goals about money. And, um, but, you know, oftentimes, especially with men, if you're not feeling about good about yourself in terms of how much money you're making, um, the job situation, it can very well affect uh, your, your self-approval, right? Because especially for men, this is big time important. And because a lot of us women have become so focused on what we do. Um, in fact, many of us were raised from the time we were children that what we do is more important than who we are. We were not cherished for our feelings. Instead, we were only loved um, based on what we did. You know, if we got good grades. So even for women now, um, that's such a big part of our self-esteem and self-approval. And so, um, okay, I'm trying to see which one was the next one up. Um, oh, the judgment card. Again, this one was in the reverse. So if you're out there maybe doing a little bit too much partying, maybe um, doing things that you shouldn't be doing <laughs> due to the fact that maybe things are not going so well with your employment situation, your job, the money isn't there where it used to be. This judgment card is, you know, to me it's kind of saying you're not really... Uh, let's say, considering the the, um, the possible circumstances for what you're doing, you know, the, um, the payment that, you know, the karma for what you're doing. Um, so just remember, um, everything that you do, it does have, you know, there's consequences, okay? And, and that's what that is about. Um, also, again, for some of you, Ace of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles usually have to do with money. And I did mention that for some of you, this may be connected with your um, job or lack of one, your, your financial situation. For some of you, this could mean a, uh, a new beginning in terms of money that maybe was a false start, it didn't really come to fruition, or it's maybe just not going like it should be. It's not um, happening as quickly as it should. And or the next card that I pulled as a clarifier, and this is showing someone walking away from a situation um, and it looks like that could be possible for some of you. Um, with your work situation, you may just be, you know, deciding to either deciding to walk away or maybe forcibly having to walk away. Maybe you got laid off, fired, whatever. But it looks like it was kind of a, you know, I mean, he's walking away from a battle. And he's basically saying, you know, I don't want to fight anymore. He's, he's taking his swords and leaving. And that, you know, see how that fits in with you, Capricorn, in terms of maybe your job or your relationship. And, you know, leave me um, some comments below. And also, I'm going to put a link for the Medical Intuitive special reading and the Grace Healing Energies. So you'll, you'll see that below and also the link to my website. So you can find out more about Grace Healing, more about the Medical Intuitive Reading. Um, so I hope that this is helpful to you, Capricorn, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.